morning sky. On such a day, I struck my first whale, a boy harpooner. Forty, forty, aye. Forty years and a thousand lowerings ago. Why this madness of the chase? This boiling blood and smoking brow. Why palsy the arm of the oar, the iron and the lance? I feel old, star buck and bowed. As though I were Adam, staggering under the vile centuries since paradise. Stand close, Starbuck. Close to me. Let me look into a human eye. It is better than to gaze into sea or sky. Captain, now for the last time I ask thee, I implore thee. Let us fly these deadly waters. Let us home. Have there not such mild blue days even as this in old New Bedford? What is it? What nameless, inscrutable, unearthly thing commands me against all human lovings and longings to keep pushing and crowding and jamming myself on all the time? Making me do what in my own natural heart I dare not dream of doing. Is Ahab Ahab? Is it I, God, or who that lifts this arm? But if the great sun cannot move except by God's invisible power, how can my small heart beat, my brain think thoughts, Unless God does that beating, does that thinking, does that living, and not I. By heavens, man, we are turned round and round in this world. Like yonder windless, and fate is the hand spike. And all the time. That smiling sky and this unsounded sea. Look ye into its deeps and see the everlasting slaughter that goes on. Who put it into its creatures to chase and fang one another? Where do murderers go, man? Who's to doom when the judge himself is dragged before the bar? But it is a mild, mild day in a mild-looking sky. What ails you, Starbuck? Why do you tremble so? Because I do not have the bowels to slaughter thee and save a whole ship's company from being dragged to doom. Oh, I plainly see my miserable office. To obey rebellion. Worse still, to help thee to thine impious end. Starbuck, ye are tied to me. This act is immutably decreed. It was rehearsed by ye and me a billion years before this ocean rolled. What the wind carries? It smells like land. Like an island. Aye, uh, a coral reef, green moss, shells, bits and pieces from all the oceans he ever swam through. An island to himself as the white whale. Elijah. What say you, lad? The day we sailed, a man's... Elijah's name was. Well, he said. He said, a day will come at sea when you smell land where there be no land. 
And on that day, Ahab will go to his grave. But he will rise again, beckon. And all, all, all save one shall follow. Stand you there on the deck in my place. Oh! 